everybody, and welcome to the Upkeep for Monday, January 27th, 2020. That's right, it's all of the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. All right, so the big news, Worlds is coming in three weeks. Wow. The World Championship. Three weeks time, 16 players, 1 million in prizes. And the reason we're talking about this now, three weeks ahead of time, is because Wizards has announced a fun game you can play along with the World Championship called Find Your Champion. Yes. So you are able to pick players, player, player, player. You are able to pick player, um, and if they win or get, uh, depending on where they place, yeah, you get different prizes. This is really cool because I've been waiting for a long time for Wizards to take an event that's happening and have it integrate with one of their digital platforms like Arena, yeah. which is really cool. So you just go to this website, you enter your email that's associated with your Arena account, you pick who you think is going to win the tournament, and if you're right, you get a cool trophy pet, you get a, uh, a special arena back sleeves and uh, some special uh, individual card rewards as well. Yeah, six rare cards if you win. Sick. I really want that trophy pet. I know, the trophy pet is the real bragging rights. Yeah, it I really think. is. Because then you can just have it on the battlefield. You're like, like guess yeah. what? I knew who was going to win Worlds. <laughs> okay. Guess who I picked? Who? I said guess. Oh, guess? Okay. Wow. Um, you have a 1 in 16 uh, chance. Javier. Yes. Yep. <laughs> You just hope. Do you know what? And I honestly back to back, baby. also hope that he just takes it all. Yeah, down I think again. that'd be pretty cool. And you know what? Quite frankly, I think it's a good choice as well. Yeah, <laughs> like, he has been he's been on a heck of a roll this year. Not only would it be a cool story, but he has a good chance. Yes. Um, if you get if your player gets second place, you will get four rare cards in the sleeves. Um, third through eighth, two rares in the sleeves. Ninth through sixteenth, one rare in the sleeves. So yeah, no matter what, no matter you're what, winning. You get a rare. You get some sleeves. And also, Draft has now been confirmed at Worlds, which is really cool. Magic Esports tweeted out, a little birdie told me the formats for Worlds. Get hyped for Draft and Standard in Hawaii. Ooh, Draft and Standard. All right. I'm so excited that Draft will be a part of Worlds. classic sampling. Yeah, I know. And there was some worry that Draft wasn't going to be a part of the tournament, but no no worries no longer. Yeah. (laughs) It is. (laughs) Um, Next up, the Magic Rivals League participants have been confirmed. All right. So there were a couple of people who declined, like yep. Savic, uh, notably, and then there were a couple of spots that were discretionary. Yes. So we didn't know how those were going to be filled, but now we have our full roster. Yeah, this looks like a real banger of a Rivals League, I've got to yeah, say. It really does. It's got Stan Sifka in it. Kai Bude. Uh, I mean, like, excuse me? Sure. <laughs> One of the winningest players of all time. Yeah. Um, Kenji Igashira, aka Numata Nummy, is in here, which is very fun. Simon Gertzen. That's awesome. Yes. Great job, Simon. Uh, we're super excited to see Simon in there. Um, Beatrice Grancha, who we saw at the Invitational this yes. past year, as well as at the last Mythic Championship of the year. Emma Handy has also been invited. Yep. Which is really cool. Um, also, Allie Warfield, who we yes. saw make a run t- at the top eight at the last mythic championship um plus eli loveman who yeah won a mythic championship in there special invite for him mm-hmm. um so yeah it's pretty pretty cool and then like you know lsv yeah another <laughs> another player who some people uh, discuss as being maybe one of the best of all time yeah. right, also right on in there and sure. then of course the mpl players who didn't quite make it back into the mpl this year dropping down into rivals as well like mm-hmm. people like ben stark yeah eric froelich yeah exactly so What a stacked Rivals League. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Big news, if you're a content creator in Magic, a content creator program has been announced. The way this is going to work is through Stream Elements, Mm -hmm. which is a service you can use while you're streaming. You can apply right now. Applications are open. And there'll be different challenges every week that you can complete. Something like streaming for four hours in a row, destroying a creature in a certain way, kind of different things that they're going to kind of uh, put together for people week to week, month to month challenges. And then stream elements, this is really cool, will automatically track the completion of yeah. those challenges or some are going to be a little bit more complicated to complete. In those cases, you take a video of yourself or your screen capture from your stream on OBS or whatever and send it into Wizards and they'll confirm you have completed that challenge. And then you get stuff like gem codes and individual card rewards to give out to your viewers. And they Ooh. say they're working on new and exciting uh, benefits for this program too, which they have not announced yet. Very very exciting. Yeah, really cool stuff there. Um, they've also announced a green light fund. This is $1 million 
to see new magic series in 2020. Yeah. Do you have an idea a for million for dollars. something that you wish you could watch about magic? Well, now is a chance to submit your idea to Wizards. Yeah. Um, you submit through the creator program yep. and they say that they're ready to fund small ideas to huge ideas up to $250,000 individually. Wow. This is wild. Yeah. Wizards has uh, funded some really cool projects in the past, like Friday Nights, produced mm -hmm. by Loading Ready Run, Game Nights yeah. by the Command Zone, this kind of stuff. So if you're like, I've always had this idea for a magic series, and you feel ready to put together a budget and a proposal and a pitch for that, well, it's not open just yet, but it will be open through the Content Creator Program. So go and apply for that so when uh, pitches are open, you can be ready for that kind of thing too. Very cool. Um, the Ma oh wait, GP New Jersey had a winner. Yeah, it happened this past weekend. Isaac Crute won. Congratulations to Isaac playing yes. Theros Beyond Death Limited. And he's been on a hot streak recently. Yes. He won a Mythic qualifier to go to MC7 in December. Yep. And then he recently won another one. Yeah. Uh, this just blows my yes, mind. to go to the first Mythic Invitational of the year. Yeah. He which had, is just wild. He had some really sweet decks at this tournament. Thank you, Isaac, by the way, for taking pictures of all of your decks so we can all know what's actually good in Theros yeah. Beyond Death Limited. Uh, I'm putting them up in the video version of this. But yeah, his sealed deck was a cool red-white aggressive deck featuring yeah. Elspeth. Drafted a really cool blue-white control deck Ooh, featuring deck is Dream so Trawler. Nice. Ten creatures only. That's all we need. Ten when, creatures really? and two of them are the only... 05 turtle. <laughs> All you really need is one creature, and that's Dream Troll. Yes. I was going to say, I thought you meant the 05 turtle. Oh, like, you yeah. only need one creature. 05 and turtle. 05 turtle. Blocks all day. Yeah, so congratulations to him. Nearly uh, 1,500 competitors on day one. Yeah. Which is a really solid number. So really cool to see that there at that GP. Nice. Uh, the Magic Fest 2020 schedule is released. Yeah, so if you've been wanting to head to a Magic Fest, check it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, there, The list of the formats and what's coming up in 2020 is now available. So you can kind of plan out for yourself and say, oh, I want to play some modern. I'm interested in Pioneer. Well, I'm interested in Limited. Yeah, Here Maria, you go. Are there any of these that catch your eye in particular? Uh, Minneapolis. Yes. That's right. July 10th is Minneapolis Limited. That's Yay. heading into the Mythic Championship that's going to be here. Yeah. Um, which is pretty cool. And also, I noticed uh, June 5th, there's a team limited in Seattle, <gasps> which is pretty sweet also. What? Yeah. Oh, I want to do that. So this is through August 7th. Um, the, the events after that have not been uh, released their formats yet. Yep. But up to, up until that point, we now know what they're going to be. August 27th, there is Vegas. Uh, Magic Fest Vegas is always yeah. a good time, everybody. Sure is. Put it on the calendar now if you're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And finally, an update on some players tour information here for points and payouts. So there's been a lot of talk about this because of the fact that there's about regional disparities in these tournaments and some are gonna be larger than others and how is Wizards working to kind of work things out to make it more fair for people who live at different parts of the world where it's not as easy to get to tournaments a lot as it is in North America here. So what's gonna happen? They made the decision that they're only gonna award points through round number 15, yeah. which is significant because North American players tours will probably have 16 rounds. Yes. So uh, they expect the APAC regions to probably only have 15, and so that's the way they've, they've figured it out. So after round 15, no points awarded for those rounds. Yep. The top eight points are all equal everywhere. Though. Yeah. They're like, if you get first, it should be the, the same, same everywhere. It's a huge accomplishment. So we're giving the same amount of points for the top eight. Mm -hmm. The prize payouts in North America and Europe are the same. Um, in APAC, they are also slightly less after first place. Yep. So it's $35,000 so for first, first place. First is the same. Yep. After that, slightly less. Yeah. So uh, Wizards is going to keep an eye on this and see what happens with people potentially traveling around to different regional players tours and see if that becomes a problem or something like that. Uh, and they will adapt it if necessary. Mm -hmm. So keep this stuff in mind because the first players tour regionals are coming up now really That's quick right. here. North America happening in Phoenix in two weeks. Wow. That's going to be draft and pioneer coming at you. This is super exciting. It's yeah. basically like a mini pro tour. It really is. Before the big pro tour, the finals in Houston coming up yeah. uh, later this year. Yep. Well, there you go. That's all the magic news. And it was quite a lot of it Yeah. <laughs> here this week. If you want to check out our full-length podcast, you can find it anywhere fine podcasts are found. It's called Good Luck High Five. And head to our Patreon if you find the show valuable. Patreon.com slash GLHF Magic. 